Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently rolled out a, another update for Windows 10, which is KB5020683, which is an out of band update that they released uh, recently, with, um, which was released basically behind the scenes. They didn't make too much fuss over this update because it's really just an update to improve the out of box experience, also known as OOBE, as many of you would know which gives you the option to upgrade to Windows 11 when you are um, setting up a new Windows 10 device. And then obviously um, this update will download in that process. And then you would have the option to update and upgrade to Windows 11 immediately if that device meets the system requirements. Now, um, 5020683, the update is available for Windows 10 versions 2004, 20H2, 21H1, 21H2 and 22H2. And it's only available at the stage for Windows 10 Home and professional users. Now, this is not an update you will find through Windows Update on your device. So you won't um, be able to check for updates or seek for the update. It won't be made available through Windows Update. And you also won't find this update by heading to the Microsoft Update Catalog, as you can see, and trying to download it. There are no results for this update. This is an OOBE out-of-box experience update and this is how Microsoft describes this update if you are interested and I'm quoting this they say on the 30th of November this year an out-of-band update was released to improve the Windows 10 um, versions and I have mentioned all those different versions from 2004 right through to 2022H2 to improve um, the Windows out-of-box experience OOBE it provides eligible devices with the option to upgrade to Windows 11 as part of the OOBE process, this update will be available only when an OOBE update is installed. So just take note of that. So it's basically when you are setting up a device and obviously it goes without saying that you would need to have an internet connection because it would need to download the update um, in that setup process. And then if you would be interested, if your device meets these system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11, um, then that then update KB5020683 will be downloaded and then you will have the option to upgrade immediately to Windows 11 when I'm um, setting up your new device. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.